to my channel. Today we're going to be discussing the idea of porn addiction and is there really such a thing uh, as being addicted to porn or not? So I'm going to break it down for you and many times the label will be put on men more so than women but certainly women can have issues with porn where maybe it's affecting their life, their relationship, so on and so forth. But usually the label doesn't get attached to women as often as it does to men. One of the reasons that this happens is that when a man is in a relationship, for the most part, if he is watching porn and perhaps his wife or girlfriend is having a problem with it, oftentimes he will be labeled as having an addiction. Where as opposed to if a woman is watching porn in a relationship, oftentimes her husband or boyfriend will not put the label on her. So that's just something to think about. But now I'm really going to get into people who do have a genuine problem with pornography. And this is when it is affecting your life negatively, it is affecting your relationship negatively, and it feels almost like you can't stop doing it. And that's where sometimes people will say that they're addicted to it, or it feels like an addiction. Um, if that's you, and you have categorized it as that, and you have gotten help for it, and it has worked for you, then I'm not going to say that you shouldn't uh, classify it as something as an addiction if indeed you did get help for it and it did work. But that's usually about 10% or less that people genuinely get help for a quote unquote a porn addiction and they really stop using porn. So it's a very small percentage of people that it really works. For the most part, what I recommend is either managing your porn use or looking at it from a different perspective. And this is really important because if you have a sexual pattern where you watched pornography and masturbated to por pornography before you got into a relationship or before you got married, chances are at some point in the relationship when your sex life decreases, which happens quite often, most people will go back to what their pattern was before they got into the relationship. And if your pattern was watching porn quite often, most of the time people will just go back to that. And so that's more of a pattern that needs to be adjusted, uh, something that needs to be talked about. And if you are not having sexual relations in your marriage, or it is very, very decreased, then you're going to need to talk about that problem with your spouse and explain to them that you need to work on your sex life. And as you work on your sex life, then the porn that you were watching will decrease. Now, that might be one aspect of it, but sometimes men will watch porn when their spouse or their girlfriend wants to have sex with them, and that would be due to them having some type of performance anxiety, erectile dysfunction, maybe some type of fetish that they're not talking about with their spouse. And that is a real problem because then you really are taking away yourself from the intimacy that you should be sharing with that person that you're with. And I would definitely recommend getting help for that. And I still wouldn't classify that as an addiction. I would classify that as having either erectile dysfunction, performance anxiety, or if there is a fetish, realizing how you can manage it and what you can do as far as working it into the relationship or simply managing it so that you are able to adjust to your life. And I've talked about managing fetishes and managing certain types of sexual fantasies in other videos. So if that is your problem, please take a look at some of the other videos that I have talked about this because they're very informative. 
So let's get back to this idea of an addiction. So an addiction, what it does is it takes out the idea that you are choosing to watch porn. So the addiction aspect is that you have no control over it. And that part I do not agree with because there are, are definite choices every time you decide to open your computer or put on your phone, you are choosing to do so. Nobody is making you do it. You are making a conscious choice. Therefore, you are in control. The best way to break this habit or the best way to manage your problem is first to realize that you have a problem. And another aspect of that where people sometimes have a difficult time managing their watching of pornography is simply that they don't have anything else to replace it with. Now, if you think about it, many times people will watch pornography because it's a great stress release or they're not having sex and it's a way for them to masturbate and uh, there's an, a certain amount of enjoyment to it. Some people will do trolling or edging or, you know, take their time looking for the perfect scene where it's almost like foreplay. And that aspect of it really does raise the dopamine levels. And that particular part of it can feel somewhat addictive because you are releasing chemicals and hormones in the brain that are really uh, revving people up and can give somebody somewhat of a high. And again, that is a choice you're making. So what are some of the things that you can do to not make that choice? Well, one of them could be to have a particular time that you're giving yourself to watch porn um, and put yourself on a schedule so that you're not doing it all the time, that it's not taking over your relationship or your work, or you're just spending countless hours on the internet searching for that particular scene or video. You would be scheduling that time in and you wouldn't be doing it until that particular time. And also one of the other aspects is some people have a shame afterwards. And believe it or not, the shame actually can create a negative spiral because then you're feeling bad about yourself and you're using the porn to feel good about yourself. So you've now just created a cyclical problem. So if you are going to schedule a time when you're gonna watch your porn and you're gonna be decreasing it, then at the same time, you shouldn't be shaming yourself for it. So that's one part that can really help people. The other aspect is finding things to replace your porn use. And this has been very important in uh, really managing um, if you feel like you have, quote unquote, an addiction, is replacing with something else that may not be as satisfying, but is still satisfying. And that can be masturbating to eroticism, where it's a book. Um, it can be using a toy. Or it could be cutting down your masturbation um, so that you're not doing it as much. It could be focusing more on your relationship and good and positive aspects of your relationship. If you're not in a relationship, maybe it's time to get on a dating site or do something to get yourself out of the rut. Maybe join a meetup group or a club. Something that's going to occupy that time where it would have been occupied by watching pornography. If you feel like you don't have uh, the, I don't know, I don't wanna say control, but if you feel like you need help with filling that time, then again, going to counseling, maybe again, joining a group, getting into some type of an activity that you enjoy, doing something active, riding a bike, exercising, hiking. There are some really great benefits to doing exercise that also will raise the dopamine levels. Planning something fun for yourself 
perhaps saving some money to buy something for yourself. So you really need to think about replacing uh, some of the time that you would be spending watching videos with something that you equally enjoy. And sometimes it takes time to figure this out, but it really is worth it and it does work. This is something that I go over with clients and you know, sometimes it takes several weeks uh, and several months for them to begin to break the habit. Usually it takes about three months for a habit to be broken. And that really is what, um, you know, watching pornography is obsessively is a habit that needs to be broken. Of course, there are some cases where somebody has an addictive personality, OCD. And again, it wouldn't be that it's a pornography addiction you're watching the porn as a result of having the OCD, having the anxiety, and that is something I recommend seeking out a psychiatrist to possibly get some medication for. So I hope I have dis, uh, you know, talked about some of this in a way that dispels some of the myths around porn addiction. And again, if you are somebody that has followed that model and it's worked for you, I'm not going to discount that because I do believe anything that works is positive. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and leave your comment. As you know, I believe everyone deserves to have a healthy sex life, and so do you.